Hey Gemini, welcome. This is your mid-May 2023 reading. So always take what resonates and then you know to always head over to watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. For those of you that are new, I'm grateful you're here. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do monthly giveaways and this month is going to be two 15 to 30 minute free readings two 15 to 30 personal free readings. It will be of your choice if you're randomly chosen. At the month I randomly choose these those people and reach out to you through YouTube. I'll always remind you at the end of the month to check your notifications. Um, all you need to do is be that subscriber and leave a zodiac emoji in the comment section of each reading. It could be your zodiac emoji, someone you're thinking about, maybe yours, rising, moon, and Venus. You put them all, all four there, but it's your way of letting me know that you're interested in the giveaways. It's just my way of giving back, and I do this each and every month. Around the holidays, sometimes I make it monetary gift cards, not multiple ones of those, just one. All right. Attachment. I feel like missing someone. You know, feeling possibly an attachment on a soul level to someone. And woman holding a heart, 44. I definitely feel so, like, Gemini, you're being missed. Or someone's missing you. And strategy. They're thinking of a way to come towards you. You could possibly be missing them and wanting to reach out to them. Could be journaling your feelings for them. Let's see what also needs to come out. I just feel somebody be un being unable to move on from a relationship or a connection. Beauty. You're very attracted to this person. It's like you only have eyes for them. Love. Yes, yeah, say... Boundaries. You could have been dealing with somebody that was very controlling or overstepped their boundary in some way with you and travel. Maybe a long distance relationship for some. Maybe the stress of that or not seeing each other as much as you would have liked to. Here is the Knight of Coins. So you could have been dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There is an Earth sign showing up here. And I feel like they're slowly making their way to you. Yes, they are focused on their career and their own security. But it's a good energy to be in because when they make it towards you, when they finally make it to you, you know that they're going to have something stable to offer you. Because they've worked along their way. You know, they've they've put that energy into themselves and their, their long-term security, stability. Palace of Coins. Yeah, they're definitely coming in abundant. Karen Energy is the Queen of Swords. You might have emotionally went un unavailable on them. It may not have been moving as fast as you would, I had wanted it to. But I feel like, like you're being very guarded these days. It's like you're protecting your heart, 
you've been through a lot. It's like mind over matter or it is what it is type of energy. You may be missing someone but still holding that into yourself. Yeah, there is an offer of love coming in. We have air, earth, and water energy here. And this person is coming in stable. I'm going to clarify that Seven of Swords energy. But I feel like they've manifested this connection with you. I feel like they're missing you, Gemini. I definitely do. I feel like their focus had to be elsewhere. They might have been very controlling in terms of how much they worked. Maybe they needed to work a couple jobs. Maybe they needed to work 12-hour days. Uh, like I said, maybe they needed to travel for work. And it was like a control factor over the two of you. But they've planted the seeds. They've worked really hard on their journey. And they want to bring this offer in. But I don't know, I mean, with you facing this way and they're them facing that way, uh, let's see how it turns out. Actually, I feel like you've been very focused on what you want to accomplish also, Gemini. I feel two people coming together and being like a perfect match. Being able to enjoy each other. And I got to say, I do feel like you're going to take a leap of faith. Any sorrow you're feeling or heartbreak or attachment, it's like you're going to move past that. Let's see. Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords here twice? Yeah, very slow moving energy. I feel like You've definitely spent some time soul searching about what you want. You're doing very well for yourself also. You focused on your stability and your security. This could be two people that like went to college together, had a relationship, but then went separate ways because you both went down different career paths. I feel that, you know, woman holding a heart, there are two people missing one another. And it's almost like, you know what, we'll go our separate ways. We've have we got a lot to accomplish, you know, individually, and then we'll meet up down the road. This way we'll come together grounded, established, and we'll be ready for long term. I do feel you're going to be open to it. But I'm not going to say it didn't hurt when you, the two of you separate it. Why is the Three of Swords here? Ace of Coins. This also could be a relationship that may be stemmed from work. And because of that personal, professional kind of mingling, it couldn't go any further. But there is going to be, there is it's going to be that offer made. There is communication coming in. And I feel like they're coming towards you wanting to be all in. It's two people that have like a desire for one another. And you, you did. For whatever reason, you've tried to separate. But it's like, it's like that country song. It's like two people that try to separate, but then that one moment you just receive that text and it's like, you know what, we'll worry about the separation later, I'm coming over. 
the one I'm running there I'm running through every red light and I thought to myself driving one time listening to the words like well, yeah you're running every red light to be together for tonight but then tomorrow you're ripping the band-aid all off all over again but to each their own if I just see two people going down separate paths trying to separate but never really being able to shake one another yeah you try to mentally stay away apart from one another you fight you tried to find that strength but there is there's a thing called divine power divine favor and it's taken over Hold on. With that coming out, I knew it. Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, see? They led you to believe they moved on. But they've always been manifesting this return. At some point, they allowed their heart to open and feel the loss of you and how much they really felt for you. They realized there was nowhere to run from this. I'm, not, I'm actually feeling a soulmate connection. And for some of you, I do feel that you met like in college or something. You might like to re read books. They may like to read books. You may know some, you know, like this may resonate as your person is an author, art, author or writes stories or novels. But it's not a fairy tale. It's actually coming to fruition. There will be that romantic ending for the two of you. It's two people who have tried to move on, go their separate ways, you know, figure out their careers, their work, their own stability. And it's, it's like it leads you back to one another. But there is divine intervention here. It's almost like there was always a strategy all along. And it's like the two people that have grown so much now wanting to come together and move forward together. All right, let's see. Nest, an emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. So there's no empty nest here. You may have felt there was, but nope. It's coming back together. Bull. Do not back down from opposition, showing strength and fortitude. Weeping willow, family sorrow. For some of you, it may be a connection within your family. Maybe you had a fallout with a sibling, you went your separate ways. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. There is going to be communication that comes in wanting to meet up with you and talk, work things out, get it all out there, heart to heart conversation, however that plays out for you. All right, we have K, E, Y. Key. Key to your heart. U. R. N. S. A. 
I. All right, Gemini, let me know how it resonates. I will be back for the um, new moon readings, which are taking, the new moon is the 19th. So I will be back for that. Um, but let me know how this resonates for mid to end of May, 2023. Leave the Zodiac emoji letting me know you're interested. And for those of you that would like me to tune into Just Your Energy, you can click on the link below in the description box. It is my Etsy, the link to my Etsy channel. It is reopen. There are readings that are selling out, but then there are, are there are other readings that are still available. If you need one that is already sold out, <clears throat> go ahead and favorite the shop and then re check back in. Because <clears throat> once I get through, the, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do it in stride. Instead of getting overwhelmed and having to shut my shop down. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Having to shut my shop down. I'm trying to do it in stride and not automatically refill and getting overwhelmed. So I'm working through the ones I have. There's still others that are available. And then I will be refilling up shortly. I do have a full-time career. So I'm trying to just make everything work. Along with my personal life. Alright, love and light.